Hi there, Chromebook and education folks. My name is Ron Hellman, and I'm an education technology consultant from the Kent Intermediate School District in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I, like you, have gone through a crazy amount of pain trying to make one of these, a Samsung 303 Chromebook, talk to an LCD projector. We've gone through lots of different devices, which I'll show you in a second, but I finally found one that actually works um, from a company called Pluggable, and Pluggable makes this cool cable that is HDMI to VGA, it has a little chipset in it, so it just does what it needs to do without all kinds of different converters and um, other pain that we've gone through with things that didn't work. So let me show you this real quick because I think it's cool and it's probably one of the best lower cost solutions that you're going to find to make one of these talk to one of those. So first I'm going to talk about what didn't work just so you know what not to buy to try to make your Chromebooks talk to LCD projectors. So the first one that we thought was going to work was this thing from a company called Cable Matters. And Cable Matters is uh, says it's an HDMI Type A to VGA male female with a three and a half millimeter stereo adapter. Came in a little package here so you could get audio out of it. And on the end of this thing, what you have is a VGA output and then also a three and a half millimeter stereo output. Um, we had our doubts and our doubts were confirmed. This thing didn't work with our Samsung Chromebook to do anything. The cool part is, is that it will work with some of the other devices that actually have HDMI powered output and I think that's what we're finding. So that one didn't work. We kind of thought this one was going to work from Canx, which was an AirPlay mirroring for VGA projector. We just thought, well this works really good on an Apple TV to get VGA out of it, but again because the Samsung Chromebook isn't powered out of that HDMI port, it didn't work. We read that a couple people said that it did work, so that's why we bought it, but I'm glad we have a way to use it. It's not wasted money. One of our standbys that we've been using instead of the cable that I'm going to show you in just a second is an HD video converter, and this one comes, depends on where you look online, it comes in lots of different brand names. This one is by a company that's called Link Style. And inside of our little kit, what we've been running around with was a box like this that has an HDMI input um, and also a power input. And then out the back side, you've got your VGA and your audio output out of this thing. So this actually works with a majority of projectors we have. But here's a problem. It's a big, blunky, blocky chunk of metal. And you also then need a power adapter to power this thing. And you also need then a jumper to go from the back of the Chromebook HDMI to the HDMI input on this. And then we came up with a different way to power this thing as we found another cool adapter because this takes some um, five volts, USB is five volts, and we power it off five volts. So we don't always have to have this little clunky adapter with it. So that works, but not as good as this. So the thing you've been waiting for me to talk about is this from Pluggable. Pluggable is a company that makes um, interesting adapters. They make some nice um, docking stations that use USB 3 and emulate all the ports, but this is brand new called the HDMI to VGA cable adapter. It's as simple as it is. I don't think there's any other model number, um, and it's all built into one cable. So you've got an HDMI plug on one end and a VGA on the other, and it's basically all it is is a um, about a three foot long cable and basically that's all it does. It goes from your HDMI to your um, VGA projector or LCD monitor is kind of think what they're thinking of. But for us in education we're always looking how to get this Chromebook to an LCD projector. So this is a thing. Let me show you what it looks like in a second. Okay, this is what it looks like when you get it out of the package and the package is pretty minimalistic. You get one of these and you'll see that we've got an HDMI connector on one end and a VGA connector on the other. Now, some of you sharp people out there will all be already figure out that this doesn't work with a lot of the cables that we have because this plug that we have, this male VGA, plugs into LCD monitors really well, but most of us in schools end up having a VGA cable like this that might come out of the wall, which as you can tell, this is a male. Um, so trying to connect these two things together don't work very well. So if you could go directly um, into a female jack on your wall, that'd be awesome, but most of us are ending up with 
you know, 10 or 15 or 20 foot long VGA cables. So to make all this work, I had to go find my um, VGA to VGA female gender adapter. And the way that this works is I just put this in here and then put the other one in here. And these are about two bucks. And then now I can connect this up to my Chromebook and it'll work just straight away. I'll just show you how fast and easy this works. Okay, here's the back of my nice orange Samsung Chromebook. Yeah, it's a cover. It's kind of cool though. And I'll just plug into the HDMI port. Plug that thing in and hopefully in just a second here, what we'll do is we'll see my screen up there. Go ahead and lock in and change. Now what you'll see down in the bottom right hand corner right now is it says it's, it's is extending the screen. So what happens on default from what I'm seeing here with our Chromebook is that once I plug in um, some sort of device, a laptop or the Chromebook in particular, that this thing is going to default to this dual display mode. So you'll see on one screen here I've got my login and on the other one I've got a wallpaper. Just something that we noticed also down at the bottom there's some strange kind of aberrations down here. I'm not sure exactly what those are, those stripes. It doesn't really affect any more of the screen. I imagine it has something to do with sizing. This is an Epson Brightlink projector that I'm showing this on. Um, so again, something just interesting. Okay, so now to adjust any of the settings that we're going to do on the Chromebook, I'm going to just go in here into Chrome colon slash slash settings. And the place that you're going to be looking for in your settings is this thing here that says display settings. And once I go into display settings, you'll be able to see now that I can change my different display options. So right now it's under start mirroring. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the mirroring button here. And now I'll be able to see the same screen, this main one, up here on my projector also. So the, again, default is, is not to do mirroring from what I'm seeing. And then you can go into mirroring mode. And again, if you want to change your display settings, you can change those things back to show multi-display. Take you back into display settings. You can change your orientation to flip things if you want to. And also interesting is that you can change your resolution. So right now, I'm sure I'm on my native resolution of the Chromebook 1366 by 768. And since this is live, we'll just see if this works a minute, which is a weird resolution, 1536 by 864. I'll go ahead and see what happens here. So it shows there. I'll switch over to the Epson. Um, I'm going to change this resolution here. I'm going to go to 1920 by 1080 and actually just see if this works. It should. We hope. We'll see if it locks onto it or not. Oh my gosh, it does work. Okay, so now we are mirroring. Let me just close this thing back up. I'm going to mirror this on both of them real quick. And mirror this display and just show you that now we're doing that higher resolution up on the LCD projector up here. So again, this cable from Pluggable works really great. And again, this is like the first one that we found that uh, works without having to mess around with lots of other accoutrements and, and in short actually works. If you have any questions about this or want to know um, any other experiences that we might have with this, I'd be happy to help you. All you have to do is find me on Twitter. My Twitter name is at Ron Helpman, or you can find me just by doing a Google search for Ron Helpman, and I'd be happy to help you and answer any questions about how to set this thing up or any of the other wonderings that you might have. Thanks, and have an awesome day.